Are you thrilled by this new announcement about the Leica Deluxe 8? You're in the right place. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Thomas Love here from Sanremo, Italia, because I'm back from France, my expedition over there is finished, I had enough time to travel, to discover, to test my 1 inch sensor and I'm waiting to get much more info about this Deluxe 8 because the first question I have in mind is why the usual suspects don't have it in their hands, why only a few channels have it in their hands and why only smaller channels compared to the usual YouTubers with hundreds of thousands of followers. So Leica specialized such as uh, Three Blind Men and an Elephant or The Art of Photography, they don't have it in their hands. We can only see youngsters. And so my very first question is why these guys are not showing us everything? Why are we only talking about the body, the shape, the menu which is mimicking the Q3? Why don't we really know a full list of specs. Why don't we know what sensor is it having? This is a CMOS compared to the MOS of the Deluxe 7, but we don't know if it's gonna have phase detect or not. We don't know if it's gonna have IBIS or only optical image stabilization or nothing at all, or maybe the digital version of it, such as the ones used by action cams or Sony camera in general. And so we're all waiting for these specs to be released because the main question we have is is this really going to be a mini Q3 for a very affordable price or is it just going to be a remocked with a new dressed old project as they are making us believe. So I'm not the very first one to jump into conclusion. I don't want to do that because I don't even have it in my hands. I'm not one of those lucky channels that can play with it despite it is my understanding that the ones that are playing with it right now cannot disclose such info as we are willing to get. So probably we will have to wait till July 2nd. But the thing is that this camera is going to please many of us. Summertime is already here. We're all planning our vacations, our trips, our visits to new cities. And we don't want to go around with big and bulky cameras. We don't want to babysit our gear. We just want to enjoy because every time you choose to snap a picture, you really have to take care of several aspects for photography if you want to have a pleasant end result. And so this takes away your focus and your time from reality. So when I'm on vacation, when I'm visiting, of course I want to snap good memories, pictures, videos, recording, episodes, whatever. And so I need a tool, and in this case, it's a compact one inch sensor camera. And so in this case, the Leica Deluxe 8 will be a leap forward because I'm gonna have micro four thirds compared to the one inch sensor I'm having right now. And ideally also up to date technology. Of course, this is not intended for professional use. So for casual use, yes. Professional use, I mean, micro four thirds, they had their good chances for wildlife photography because they were packing enough reach and enough luminance in a smaller body for the camera and in smaller glasses. And so with this given, because you cannot change it, glass, the reach is limited to 24 to 75 mil equivalent. And so it is intended for day-to-day -day use. It is comparable to what you're having out of your iPhones. Of course, it will outperform that. But if you think about the price, price-wise is probably the same as the latest iPhone Pro whatever. It is matching also the latest Xperia. So if you are into Android, you might go for that. And both phones have face detect face recognition, tracking whatsoever. And so the only real advantage here is a real glass because a Leica glass, of course, is outperforming any size lens into a smartphone. And of course, the size of the sensor, which is a micro four thirds compared to the teeny tiny sensor we have in smartphones, despite they're all aligned in price despite they're all aligned in use because compact camera is the segment of photography that 
was most thrilled and challenged and lost towards smartphones. And so compact cameras are making a comeback, yes or not? What do they have to offer and why are we choosing to have a cheap phone and a compact camera rather than an expensive phone with all included, which is apparently the trend. So this Leica Deluxe 8 is going to please plenty of people my age, even older, people who are used to having a camera, people who are willing to have an EVF rather than using the display in their phones, people who want to stop and think what they are doing before snapping a picture, recording a video, taking some memory back home. And so the main question, and it is my understanding we will have to wait for July 2nd, is, is this a new renaissance for compact cameras or it's just a mocked up with a new dress old project? So stay tuned because I'm gonna seek four pieces of info here and there. I'm going to share them with you as soon as possible. I'm going to visit in a couple of weeks the Leica store in Milan, assuming they will have one to show me. And if not, well, I will have to wait July 2nd. But stay tuned and I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please remember to like it, share it on your social media, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any videos to come. And I guess I will see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.